So this is show number 47. And we're going to start out with a very, very simple, very boring exercise, but it works incredibly well. You need to extend your legs straight to the outside, and all I'm going to ask you to do is to contract your kneecaps very, very tightly. Contract them and hold it, hold it. Put your hands on top of your thighs, relax your kneecaps and see how those muscles release. Again, tighten your kneecaps, push the back of your knees into the floor, tighten, tighten, and release. Again, tighten. I did this uh, some time back as knee therapy, release, when I'd injured my knee water skiing. And when I went to the physical therapist and they told me to do this, I thought, oh, really? But it really works. Tighten the kneecaps. It'll work the muscles around your knees and through your thighs. And release. And if you have knees that feel weak to you, this is something you really need to do. Tighten up those kneecaps. Press the back of your knees into the floor. Tighten up your stomach. And release. And again, tighten those kneecaps. Press the back of your knees into the floor. Push the heels of your feet away from your body and release. Set those knees, press the back of the knees into the floor, push the heels away, release, and one more time. Tighten up very, very tightly, press the back of the knees into the floor, push the heels of your feet away from your body and relax. You feel a little bit of tiredness coming in to those muscles. It's a really good thing to do. Remember that. It's not the kind of thing that you'll see probably anywhere else, but it definitely works, unless you've been with a physical therapist. Extend your legs straight out in front of you. Tighten up your stomach. Ease down slowly, remembering to come down into a pelvic tilt. First, put your waistline on the floor, and then roll down, shoulders down, head down. Put your hands on your rib cage and bend both of your knees. You'd go into a pelvic tilt, press your waist firmly into the floor, and cross your right leg over the top of your left. Have your knees close to each other. Slowly drop your knees toward the right. Go slowly. Ease down. Keep your left shoulder down. Breathe softly. When you begin to feel resistance, back off a little bit. Breathe softly, and then begin to press the upper knee into the lower knee. Press a deep stretch through the low back, through the midriff section. Lift up. Don't try to get it all at one time. We'll go, we're going to have several repetitions. Cross over. Breathe softly as you lower your knees. It's terribly important, if you will please try to remember, to establish a sense of harmony between your breath and your body movements. And you get into a sync with your body, and it makes everything work so much better. Press down, no forcing, no bouncing. Lifting up, uncross, right over left, and drop both knees to the right. Press down, press. We're going a little bit more deeply into the stretch. Keep your left shoulder down. Stretch. This is really, really good for your lower back. Lift up, uncross, left over right, and drop to the left. Go slowly, breathe softly, press the upper knee into the lower knee, keep your right shoulder down, lengthen out those muscles. Coming back up again, uncross, one more time on either side, right leg over the left, slowly dropping to the right. Stretch now, stretch, stretch, Breathe softly. Try to go a little bit farther down. See if you can put your knee onto the floor. No forcing. Lift up. Uncross. Left over right. And slowly drop to the left. Take your time. Breathe softly. Keep your right shoulder down. Press. This is really therapeutic. This really will work a lot of pain out of your back and bring back a lot of flexibility. Try to put your knee to the floor and then lift up, uncross, 
Push your feet as far away from you as you're able to, keeping your toes on the floor. Pick up your head and shoulders, arms up, interlock your thumbs, sit up, and come to the front part of your sitting bones, going into a gentle little clam just to stretch uh, through that low back. Just lengthen out those muscles. Pull your head down towards your feet. Then pick up your head, line your neck up to your spine, bring your torso up, and inhale deeply through the nose and out through your mouth. Inhale. Ah, that's so good. Now we're going to work on your legs, your back, and your stomach. So have your feet separated out to the sides. Stretch gently over your left leg. Stretch over your left leg. Try to hold your foot. Try to bring your forehead as close to your shin bone as your body will allow. Pick up your head. Come into the upright position. Place your hands on your shins, on your kneecaps. Tighten up your stomach and slowly begin to roll onto your back. Onto the waist, dropping down, head down, stomach tight, pelvic tilt. Sit up. And fold over the right leg. Fold. Breathe softly. Try to put your forehead on your shin bone. Pick up your head and place your hands on your shins, on your knees. Tighten your stomach. Tighten your stomach. Coming down slowly onto your waistline. Try to come down one vertebra at a time. Shoulders down, head down. Stomach tight, a pelvic tilt. Come up. Extend over the left leg. Breathe softly now. Breathe softly. Pick up your head. Hands on the shins, on the kneecaps, stomach tight. Very important that you roll into this, into a pelvic <coughs> tilt. Onto your waistline, dropping down. One vertebra at a time. Shoulders down, head down, stomach tight, pelvic tilt. Sit up. Stretch. Lead with the chin. Hold your foot full forward. Feel through the hamstring. Try to put your forehead on the shin bone. Pick up your head. Hands on the shins. Tighten up your stomach. Ease down. Ease down. It's very important to come into a pelvic tilt. Get that waistline on the floor. Dropping down one vertebra at a time. And ease up. Over your left leg. Breathe softly, stretch, pull yourself way forward, pick up your head, hands on the shins, kneecaps, easing down, easing down, breathe softly, stomach tight, pelvic tilt, lift up, and just stretch forward, hold on to your feet with both hands, and just stretch forward just a little bit, feeling that in your hamstrings, feeling the twist at the hip joints, not at the waist. Try to get the weight to the very, very front part of your sitting bones and come back up into the upright position. There are spine twists and then there are spine twists. We have so many variations. This variation is really very simple and if the ones we've done so far were difficult for you to go into, please practice this one. You'll be very glad that you did. Have your feet flat, your knees together, your feet together. Interlace your fingers and turn your shoulders to your right. Turn to your right. Get the left elbow to the side of your right knee and twist. Press the elbow into your leg and then glide your chin over the right shoulder. Way back. Breathe softly. Twisting all the way back, coming forward, breathe softly, just go to the other side and put the elbow to the outside of your knee, push the elbow into the knee, lengthen up your spine, turn your chin over your left shoulder, twist, press the elbow into your leg, lengthen your spine, lengthen your neck. Feel the stretch throughout your back and release. And again, this is so important. Your spinal flexibility is so, so important.
press the elbow into the side of your leg, glide your chin over the right shoulder, lengthen your spine, lengthen your neck, keep your chin over the shoulder as if to see who is coming around behind you. Now in my classes, we hold these positions for 30 seconds and release, but it seems like an awful long time if you hold that on camera, so that's why we do more repetitions. Push your elbow into the side of your knee, lengthen up, lengthen, glide your chin over your shoulder, press the elbow into the, back, the side of your leg, chin over your shoulder, lengthen your spine, lengthen your neck, and release. And if you are stiff and tight, I mean, I see so many students who come who cannot do any variation of a spine twist, and yet by doing, there's no other way you're going to get that flexibility unless you do the spine twist. So this is really a good bet. This is a good bet for you to do. Get your elbow to the outside of your knee, lengthen up, push the elbow in, turn. Turn your chin over the right shoulder. Go as far back as possible. Lengthen your spine, lengthen your neck, breathe softly. Draw your stomach in. Sit very, very tall, please. Very tall. And release. And coming back over to the other side. The elbow to the outside. Don't, don't despair and think, ah, oh, I don't like that. It is really important. Press in, lengthen up, chin over the shoulder, twist way back, lengthen your neck, lengthen your spine, breathe softly, open up through the breastbone, get the weight on both sitting bones equally distributed, and easing back forward, and relax. Coming again with the soles of the feet together. Lift and tilt, get to the front part of your sitting bones. Rotate your pelvic girdle over those sitting bones. Going forward slowly. Again, please remember you never bounce in this. You just lengthen out these muscles. Just feel the lengthening through the glutes, through the lumbar back. Imagine that you'll put your navel on the floor. Just pull yourself down. Imagine that you'll put your chest on the floor. Just keep stretching, rest your head on your feet, and then go limp as a dish rag and see how you feel when we're through. Bye-bye. To purchase a copy of Fit and Nifty Over 50, Program 012-003, please call 1-800-553-7752 or write to the address on your screen.